Hey everybody, so I thought I would make a little clip for you all about how to hang an exhibition. Once you've made the work, particularly if it's a group show, it's quite difficult to get it hanging together nicely. So I thought I'd use some of the works from my recent exhibition at Slingshot Gallery, which is open until March the 4th, if you haven't caught it yet. But I thought I'd use some of those works and show you the process that I went through to get them hanging beautifully in the space. So here's a representative range of what we have on one of the walls at Slingshot. And you can see it's a few different colours. Yes, they're all nudes, but they don't really hang together that well. There's various sizes, various colours. It's a bit of a mishmash right now, so I'm going to show you the decisions that I made to put it together. Now the first thing you do is to start to think about where the biggest ones go because it's easiest to move them around. So I think first things first, I'm going to put this one in because it was pretty large. Now it's got some red on it and the colours that I have here go, I have some purples, I have some true blues, some turquoises, some oranges, greens and reds. So I've pretty much got the whole colour wheel in there. So while I leave that one there, I think I'm going to start right down the end with some purple. So there's a purple one there. Got another purpley one. And I have one that's more towards true blues. And it is actually heading into turquoise. So that gives me a nice place to start. So if I move this one around I'd probably have a smaller one lower than a larger one just because you need to be able to see things. And I'd be planning to multi-hang so I'd be planning that there'd be a, a hanging wire coming down there and these two would be on the same string because you've never got enough strings. It's a thing that happens. So then these two are based on the same drawing, so I probably wouldn't really want them so close to each other. I'll just bring that one up there a bit. So the next thing I might do is bring in this one, and I'm starting to veer. There's some greens hanging in there. So again, thinking about my hanging wire coming down there, and thinking also it's at slingshot bar so I need to keep it quite high to keep them out of the reach of the drunk people. That's important. So I've gone into my turquoise so maybe this would be sometimes they don't pick up that's annoying. So that's turquoise as well and it's starting to introduce a nice bit of more browns, oranges, neutrals. So that starts to give me an idea. I've gone here from purple through true blues into turquoises and now into these more ochre tones. So I want to see what happens if I start to bring greens in over here and see how those colours get together. I'm not loving these in here at all. So I'm just going to take them out. I do this on the floor when I'm setting up the exhibition. It's so much easier to throw them all out on the floor, move them all around as you need to, instead of 
hanging something, hanging something beside it and then thinking, oh no, that doesn't work. And you've got to take it all down again. Do it on the floor first. So this big one, I think fits in quite nicely beside that, this one here with the uh, browning tones in it. I'm not liking the jump between this blue and blue green over to here. So I think I need something a bit more neutral. So I'll bring this one in here. So that's giving me more of a flow. Still not seeing a place for these ones. I need to move now. I have another one here that has some red. And this can fit in quite nicely. I'm not at all thinking about their, how high they are at the moment. I'm just trying to see what sits nicely beside what else. I think this little orange one here can work after this red one. Still not really seeing a place for the green one, so maybe it won't end up on this wall. I have a couple more little neutral ones, little just black and white. And they could fit in in that kind of place. So see how my colours are going from purpley blues through greeny blue turquoises, a little bit of neutral introduced and then into reds and then finally into oranges. I could bring something like that over to this side as well and I could bring in something as red as this over there as well. But of course that would mean I would need to move things up a bit and that's okay, that's what you do. This one here, this magenta one, isn't going to fit into this wall or this area of the display any better than the green one is. So they just have to go somewhere else. That's all there is about it. So now I'll start fiddling with height. Generally speaking, you want to have some things lined up right along the top. Thinking about my hanging wires there, I might actually move this one under there. And then I could have this one up high or well, quite like that in there, but then I'll have to move this one down. I think that can work up there. This can come down into there. This can go up high. Okay, I'm back. Apparently I can't take things right off the screen, Photoshop doesn't like it, so I'll just park them in the corner here. So thinking about my hanging wires, that they're going to hang down underneath each other, and then maybe something like these little ones. Something like that. It's a long way from finished yet, I'd still need to play around with things, but that's what I try and do, get the colours sitting nicely beside each other, purple, blue, turquoise, neutrals, reds, oranges, and respecting the hanging wire system. So there you go, there's a little story about that for you. Thanks for listening.